Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching a map tour of Kerbach on FS22. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, I tell you what, I tell you what, today we get to go on a map tour of Kerbach. Now, this is by, I do apologize if I get this wrong, Dur Georgie. This little bad mamma jamma is 250.11 megabytes to download and is currently only for PC in Mac. So, this also requires one DL or one download to go along with it, and that is the Bavarian Farm Pack, and that is 62.78 megabytes to download as well. So a total, a little over 310 megabytes to go ahead and download everything and get this map set up the way you will see it right here. Now, even though we are downloading that Bavarian Pack, uh. The map maker was saying that this map really isn't based off of anything in particular, any particular location, but just some place in his imagination. His or her imagination, your imagination, however you want to look at it. Oh man, so we have gone ahead and started this gameplay off on new farmer mode so that you would know what you would get if you do start off on new farmer mode. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicles that you'd start off with in new farmers mode. Alrighty then, here are the vehicles that you'd start off with, except for this truck right here. I got that so that we could explore the map. Now, one thing I wanna point out is all the vehicles that you start off with on here, you do start off on every last mode there is. Start from scratch, all that jazz. So no matter where you start off with, you're getting this stuff. Now let's start up here with the tractors. We do start off with one Fent favorite tractor not too shabby you start off with a rothless mesh nova 3 or 330 harvester and that goes along with its uh, rothless mesh grain header not too shabby at all front loaders you start off with a schaefer not too shabby trailers one brantoner trailer manure spreader one brantoner uh, manure spreader slurry tanks a farm tech slurry tank one Pottinger Forage Wagon. Animals-wise, you start off with one Coon Forage Mixer, and then you do start off with one weight. Like I said, the truck here, I just got that so that we could go ahead and drive around with things on here and take a look at the map. With that, looking, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what the map looks like. Alrighty then, so this is the map right here, and as you can see, not a ton of fields on here, not too shabby though, because I think they're actually laid out in a pretty slick way if you take a look at it. Now, you will see there are some animal pens on here, and you actually do start off with, on all farming modes, you do actually start off with the sheep barn, the cow barn, all this stuff through here, and you do start off with all four of these horses. No matter what game mode you start off with, that's what you got. So with that being said, let's pop back up here and take a look at this, the map. And you will see that they got some pretty neat stuff on here. One thing I want to point out is that over here by the horse bin, or the horse pasture and the horse barn, there is a manure extension heap. So the horses on here do produce manure. That's pretty darn slick, especially if you're, doing into, you're getting into some green farming. Now... As for field shapes and whatnot, they're not too bad shaped. They're all relatively regular with a couple rounded edges here and there, just kind of fitting fields in where you can get. Now, looking at the prices of everything, what do we what do we got when we start up here? You start off with a yeah, new farmer's mode, field four and field five, so not too bad with those. And then this one large starting farm area is $189, not too shabby. Uh, taking a look at the most expensive field on here, which is field 10, 
that is only $137,000. That's not too bad. Now, that is the most expensive field on here. This forestry area, though, comes in at the very top as the most expensive plot being $301,000. Not bad at all. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, you come over here to little old field 24, and that little bad bam comes in at $23,000. So just right off the bat, you can see that we have quite the variety of field sizes, field prices, and as we go ahead and pop around on here, you will see that there are quite a few cheap, cheap fields. So if you did start off on... Um, farm manager mode where you get your 1.5 million uh you can buy a lot of field <laughs> you can pretty much buy a good chunk of the map for that uh, especially if you're going ahead and you do start off with all the equipment and everything you can easily go ahead and buy half the map right off the bat no worries whatsoever maybe even the whole map i didn't do the math so i couldn't tell you off the top of my head Oh, man. So with that being said, let's pop on out of here and go and take a look and see what the map looks like from the ground. All right, guys. So one thing I want to do right here is I want to turn on the map in the corner. That way you guys can follow along with me as we go forward. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's come over here and take a look at this. Uh, so construction-wise, we know we have the Bavarian pack in there, okay? that That is one of the things. You have all these extra buildings in here that's part of the Bavarian pack. You can go ahead and get rid of all of them. So if you really don't want this stuff on here, you can get rid of all of it without any issues whatsoever. Now, taking a look at buildings. Like I said, there are all these extra buildings on here for the Bavarian pack. When it comes to custom things that you can go ahead and get, uh, let me see here, let me find it. Uh, Production-wise, you do have two things on here that are pretty slick. You have the food pig food mixer and then the farm food mixer. So you have the silage maker, TMR maker, sorry, and then you have the pig food maker. Now, those are kind of neat little things for this map. And then the only other thing that I was able to find, if you go into the paints, you have quite a large selection of different paints to go ahead and throw down on the map. That's pretty cool. It's a lot better than your standard six that you usually start off with on any of the base maps. So uh, keep that in mind, depending on how you want to go about doing things. Uh, we're going to take just a quick little walk around on the farm here before we head out and about all over the place. Um, so as you can see here, we do have quite a bit of storage around here on the map. Uh, you got your silo right in here, not too shabby. I kind of like that little setup right there. Pretty darn slick if you ask me. Um, you come back around here and this is the back side of the silo so you can drive in, do all your business. Nice little roundabout going around here. Now, I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit fast on this because I, I, I know I'm going to miss things. I just know I'm going to miss things. This farm setup is really, really neat. I, I got lost. I'm not going to lie. When I was around, walking around on here, I did end up getting lost on this. It was uh, ah, sad days, sad, sad days. But this is one of those neat little features that I think is really, really cool. You can actually come up into the top of your shed. This is This is super, super slick right here. And as you can see, this is part of your cow shed. So you got that going for you. You can come up here, store your bales, you know, whatever you want. The door is wide enough and large enough to be able to fit uh, bits and pieces up into here. It's pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Um, now let's continue on around here. And as you can see, uh, you have storage. You have nooks. You have crannies. You have places that you can go with all of this stuff. Uh, your, your material, your your everything i mean really i know i'm kind of stuttering over this but there are places galore where you can just go ahead and stick anything uh, a lot of neat neat little features in here neat neat little features from these little storage racks right here to that old hopper mill or that old silo hopper back over there it's pretty darn cool uh continuing on around over here you get to this side and then you still again more storage there it is <laughs> 
it it just keeps on coming the storage it's super super cool i'm loving this i really am loving this look the way that this is all set up it really is pretty darn neat um i think what i'm going to go ahead and do is hop in the truck and then we're going to drive north on the map to get to the rest of the farm because like i said the, the farm plot that you actually have is relatively large so we're just gonna drive up there it just makes sense i mean this is the 21st century we don't need to walk <laughs> oh man so this is just a beautiful beautiful little place that we got here it really is very neat in the way that uh just the farmyard is set up the way it is done and all that uh so this i believe this one is the pig yeah i believe this one's uh for make making the uh pig food i believe that's what that one is and the other one for making the tmr i believe is right oh no this one's for the pig right here the other one over there was for the tmr now this is one thing i find kind of neat see this Look at that. Nice storage here. I, I know I know some of the things that you can go ahead and get in here on the game are those uh, individual seed pallets. Uh, it's, it's a mod. Uh, or individual seed bags. You can go ahead and throw your seed bags up into here. Not too shabby. A nice little feature. Doesn't need to be done, but I tell you what, it looks pretty neat the way it is done. Uh, and as you can see, more storage. Just tucked in wherever you can go ahead and fit it. Uh, it really is pretty darn neat. Uh, let's see here. I am going to come around this way because I believe this is the way the road kind of halfway takes it. Uh, I'm using road in a very loose sense of the term. It really is just a path for us to go around. Um, and then we come up here to the very northern section of the map here where you actually do have a fuel... I want to get off there. You actually do have a fuel station. Uh, you do have your cow shed up here. And like I said, here's your little fuel station up here. It's not too shabby. Outhouse. Gotta love that. Oh, man. Another, I believe this is bunker silo. Come double check this just to make sure. Yeah, bunker silo right there. Perfect. Or clamp, depending on however you want to say it. <laughs> all in all, guys, I really like the way that this farmyard is set up it really is pretty neat uh so now at this point we're going to go ahead and travel around on the map and take a look at everything that we can now one of the things i do want to make you guys aware of right off the bat i like to drive through the fields i don't necessarily like to take the roads because this is farming simulator it's not a trucking simulator of some sort so i want to take a look at the fields i want to see how things look um, and as you guys can see at, right off the bat, we have some slight undulations. Now, once you get to a slightly higher horsepower tractors, the hills and stuff like that really isn't going to bog you down too much. It really isn't going to bother you all that much. But it is something to keep your eye on. That's maybe some of your smaller horsepower tractors or even some of the tractors that you have where your horsepower requirements are very close to your actual horsepower of the tractor. It might cause you some issues. Uh, I just wanted to come up here. We'll take a little bit of the road here for just a little bit to take us down. Oh my gosh. To take us down off over here because ultimately this does look very beautiful uh, as you go ahead and you're traveling all over the place. Um... So it's a nice little selling point right there. Pretty darn slick. Uh, this is your horse area. We're actually going to come up over here and park off to the side of the road. Uh, because then we'll take a look at our forestry area. But coming up here and taking a look at the horse uh, area. It's what it is. It's the horse area. It's not too shabby. Like I said, you have the manure heap extension over there. Pretty darn slick. Uh, and it's just a nice little spot. So even if you want to just kind of get yourself set up and ready to go, this actually isn't all that bad of a spot either. It really is pretty darn slick. Um, and as you can see, you got your little manure heap filling station right there and your access to your horses. So I suppose if you didn't want them out here, you could go ahead and throw them on the inside if you really want to. 
Nice little hay storage right there. Pretty darn slick. Um, someone walking out of the house. Maybe this is occupied. I don't know. We'll keep going. At least there's a swing set right there. Not too shabby. So let's head on down over here. And like I said, let's get ourselves rocking and rolling. Let's get ourselves going. And we will come over here and check out this forestry area so that you guys can kind of get a feel for things if you decide to do a little bit of forestry as you travel on your ways now as you can see right here you have quite the mix of mature trees and younger trees in here you got the big ones and the, the small ones uh road axis over here isn't too shabby and i believe it's at pretty much all of the main forestry areas you do we have one of these little huts right here I believe there's one area that's really, really small here uh, in the center. Yeah, this this right here, this does not have any little forestry bunker like that. But the rest of them do. So it's, it's kind of nice. You have a little home base where you can kind of get yourself set up to rock and to roll. And as you can see, the trees in here are actually fairly dense uh, for the size of the map because the map isn't absolutely huge, but they did try and pack as much woods in here or as many trees in here as they possibly could. Not too shabby. Uh, so as we continue our tour across some of these fields over here, um, you have some undulations. It's not, it's not crazy by any means. You aren't looking at crazy field sizes, uh, crazy elevation changes by any means. Uh, you pretty much have standard things here. It's 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 pretty darn cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll jump through here. Here's another one of those little spots in our wooded forestry area. And as I said, I mean, I gotta I gotta get down here so I can get out of this. Um, with that being said, though, since I have to really duck and cover to get through there, you may have issues getting back there with some larger equipment. Same on the other area. You're probably going to have to really, probably cut a path, blaze a path, just to get yourself around. Um, so let's head on over here, and I want to make sure we touch on this really quick. Because in order to get across the little stream here, you are going to have to go ahead and go across these small little bridges. So the bridge does seem to be pretty wide enough to get most things through here. But then you have this little area right here where it can put a damper on what you've got going on. Um... We're actually going to come back over this way because I want to show you where the store is. Because that is also the spawning location for anything that you may buy. Like I said, I bought this truck and it spawned me right up over here. So this is what you have to look forward to. Slight traffic. Seems like it's going at a decent pace but not super, super fast. And to get back up to the shop, you're... Or I should say your main farm if you do choose to get there you do have some narrow paths in order to get up over there um, now like I said before this map isn't super big it's relatively small so massive machinery massive harvesters large tractors probably are not going to play a large factor in at all uh, I could be wrong you could probably get out there and rock and roll with it if you really wanted to but just by taking a look at this it doesn't seem like that's going to be something that's very very necessary um, so right about here I think is where we're gonna go ahead and hop on out of here and go ahead and I think it's time for us to take a look at this map from the sky all right, everyone, let's go ahead and jump up into the sky and take a look at this sucker from up above. So as you can see, guys, like I said, it is kind of a smaller map, but I think by the way things are laid out, I think by the way things are done here, essentially forcing you to drive around and go from point A to point B all over the place here, it really does make it feel like it's bigger than it really is. Now, I I was having this nagging feeling that I've been on this map before. I've never have. 
I never have. It, it's, it's crazy how it has a familiarity to it without it really being anything I've ever seen before. I think that's what's really kind of neat about this one. It really makes you feel at home. It makes you feel like this is some place where you can go ahead and spend a lot of time building up what you got going on, building a community, rocking and rolling at the exact same time. I mean, this is cool. You have your undulations, you have your trees, you have your your sweet, sweet farmyard over there. I can't believe how cool that thing is. It's super, super cool. I tell you what, hats off on this one. This is a great, great map. Guys, if you could go ahead, comment down below. Let me know if you guys would want to start off someplace out here. What, what would you want to do? Where would you want to start? How would you want to farm this one? Or would you rather start off on doing forestry? Comment down below. Download this map. Let me know what you think. If you guys are liking what you're hearing, liking what you're seeing, go ahead and smash that like button. Help the channel out and hit the subscription. It really would mean a lot to me. Go ahead and turn that notification bell on and have it set to all. Let someone that you know know about this. <laughs> Share this with somebody, if you will. I don't know. Go ahead and Share it with somebody who likes U-shaped islands, or maybe even like that that familiar homey feel. I think that would be pretty darn slick. I tell you what, guys, I have had a lot of fun walking around on this one. I personally can't wait to jump on this one and just spend hours. Oh my gosh, but until we get to talk again, thanks for stopping by.